Hey everyone, this is Thomas Frank from collegeinfogeek.com and today I'm going to show you how to build a personal website in less than 10 minutes using WordPress. If you're ready to get started, let's dive right in. Okay, so in this screencast tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your own personal website step by step and hopefully we're going to get this done in less than 10 minutes. Now, it might take you a little bit longer to do it since you haven't done it before, like I have, but I just want to show you how easy it is to do and how little technology you actually need to know to get this set up. So, before you get started um, watching this video, I just want to guide you towards my complete step-by-step -step text tutorial that you can use along with this video that will go into detail about every single step. So, if you go to my website, collegeinfogeek.com, and if you go to the uh, sidebar, you can see that there is a box right in the sidebar that says Ultimate Guide Build a Personal Website. If you click on that, then you will get to my guide. And this will show you everything you need to know in detail. So if you don't get something in the video, or you don't understand what I'm doing, this guide will very thoroughly explain it to you. And if you want an even easier way to get to this, you can just go to buildapersonalwebsite.com. I have registered that domain to point directly to this guide. So if you want to remember something you can type in later, buildapersonalwebsite.com. You can tell that to anybody else that you want to show how to build a personal website in the future. Okay, so here's just a couple examples of personal websites. This is my personal website that I use. I put this on my business card. I give this to uh, employers at career fairs when I meet people at networking events and they can go see all my work, my Twitter, my portfolio, all that kind of stuff. And it's awesome, much better than a resume. And here's a couple more examples. This is my friend Martin's. He's got his you know, language learning things, his technology, writing examples. My friend Zach actually made his website look kind of like a resume itself, which I think is really cool. So there are a lot of different options. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into the process of creating a personal website. Here we go. All right, so if you are on the guide, then you can just scroll down. And if not, you can just listen to me. The first step to building your personal website is getting a domain and hosting. Now, this is the only part of the process that costs any money. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but um, right up front, it will cost you a little bit if you use my method. And as I say right here, full disclaimer, I do get a little bit of a commission if you use my link in my coupon code for your hosting. You definitely don't have to. There are definitely tons of other good options out there, but these are the services I've been using myself for years. And since I spend a lot of my time making tutorials like this, I just use it as a way to make a little bit of money so I can afford to keep doing this. So if you do use my link, thank you so much. It helps out a lot and let's continue. So right here is a link to HostGator, which is the website that I recommend for hosting. If you click this picture right here or just go to hostgator.com, then you'll be brought to this page. You're gonna go to view hosting plans and the plan you will want to select is this hatchling plan which is their simplest and cheapest and all you need so click order now and what you're going to do is register a new domain name here you're going to want to pick something very close to your name and something that is easy to say in conversation so my name is thomas frank and the most optimal domain for me would be thomasfrank.com now a lot of times your domain that you want will be taken so you're going to have to find something a little bit um maybe different that won't be taken. So for me, in my case, I needed to get thomasjfrank.com with my middle name, my middle initial in there. Um, some people might need to do a dash or something. I don't recommend using numbers at all. And I don't recommend ever using like a dot biz or a dot info. If you have to use dot net or dot me, that's fine. So I'm just going to register something simple for um, the purposes of this video. So let's just go with Thomas Franktest.com. And then down here in the coupon code area, if you enter the code College Info Geek, this code will get you 35% off of your order. So it's actually quite a bit better than the default code that they give you. Continue to step two. And as you can see here, 35% off. So the way that the hosting is set up and all hosting companies do this is the more you pay for it front, the less per month it's going to be. Um, however, the more you pay for it front, the higher your initial purchase will be just because it's more months. Um, I would recommend doing at least a year that gives you time to have it for any career fairs coming up and things like that. 
you will probably want to renew after that, but I would at least do a year so you don't run out of space and accidentally have your website go down when you need it the most. Um, since this is a tutorial video and I don't need this website, I'm going to go with one month. And then you're gonna create a username. I'll just say Thomas Test. No, I guess I can't do test. Thomas F. No, just Thomas, yeah, there we go. And a pin. We'll just go with that. Now, obviously, these things will be blurred out because personal. Okay, and once you have your information filled in, then you'll go down here to the hosting add-on section. And as you can see, they have pre-checked a couple of these hosting add-ons. I recommend that you uncheck them because they are more money per year than you may want to spend. So, SiteLock. I'll show you some other ways to secure your website in the actual tutorial so you won't need side lock. And then as for domain privacy protection, this basically hides your name and your address and your phone number in Whois searches. So everyone that owns a website has their name listed in a Whois database and anybody can go look that up. So if somebody should want to go look up your information, your name and your phone number in the Whois database, they can. If you want to protect this and have it just say who is guarded, you can have this on. I'm not going to have it since my contact information will already be on my website. It seems pointless to me. Okay, so here's where your total will be. It may be more for you if you got more hosting time. Uh, either way, let's continue. Let will create account. Okay, and then you should get an email to whatever email you specified earlier with all your login information. So let's head over to that. Okay, there it is. If you go in here, you get all your information, including your link to your control panel and your username, domain, and your password. So I'm just going to copy this password, remember my username, and then head over to my control panel. Okay, so throw that in there. Okay, this is your C panel. Click no, I'm fine. No, no, no. And you're going to go down to under software and services, Fantastico Deluxe. This is a script installing uh, piece of software that will let you install WordPress very, very easily. So just click WordPress and hit new installation. And we'll go through this. So install and domain. Here you go. Install and directory. Leave this blank for this. Use something other than admin. Admin is very insecure because everyone uses it. So use something different. Your name is just fine. Give it a password. And other than that, you're good to go. Okay, and then hit finish installation. And now that this is done, you can head over to your email and click the link for your domain. And you'll see that you now have a working WordPress site, which is pretty plain, but it is up. So let's figure out how to get some content in here, customize it a little bit, and then we'll be ready to go. So on your site, you'll have a login page, but you're going to want to get rid of that later. So I'm going to tell you the URL now to log in. It's just yourwebsite.com slash WP admin. And then you will log in with the credentials you set up in Fantastico. And this is the WordPress dashboard. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have an update message at the top like I do, you're going to want to update. So let's do that now. Boom, 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 there we go. You always wanna keep WordPress updated to the latest version in order to keep yourself secure. Okay, so here's a couple settings that I think are important to do before you start with anything else. And as I said before, all this stuff is in the tutorial. So if you don't catch it here, you can easily find it step by step. So first thing, permalinks, we're gonna to want to set our permalink structure to post name. This basically just makes pages go your domain.com slash whatever the page's name is instead of just a number, which is much more readable. We'll do that. General, check that everything's fine here. And then for reading later you're going to come here and you're going to set a static page as your front page so let's go create a page first and since this is a personal website you're probably going to want your home page to be in kind of an about me thing so we'll call it about me and on my personal site this is how i have it set up and you know this is my personal website you're going to obviously add more things here later hit publish 
and then back to settings, reading, set your front page as a static page about me. And there you go. Now with this setup, you will have a blog on your website. If you do want to have a blog on your website, then you can easily create a new page. Call it anything. I'll just call it blog. Keep it blank. And then you can set your post page as that blog and any blog posts you write in the post section will show up there. So let's check out our site now. Now we have about me as the home page. We have the blog where your posts will show up. And then the only things we have left to do besides getting your content in there, which I'll leave up to you, are installing themes and plugins. So if you want to get a new theme, you don't like this one, then you can go to install themes. And if you found a theme elsewhere, there are a few places that I link to in my guide that show where you can find some cool theme. You can always go to upload and upload the zip file that you've downloaded. Or you can simply search. You can look at the featured themes. Just see what you like. A lot of these are free. So let's just go with this one. And with all themes, you will have to read the documentation and figure out how the author has set the theme up. But as you can see, the moment you apply a new theme and activate it, it will show up on your website and all your content will change. And then lastly, I'll show you how to do plugins. So plugins are just pieces of code that add new functionality to your website. So a really good one I like is called limit login attempts. And this basically stops any hackers or bots from endlessly trying to guess your username and password combination. It will limit it to a specified number that you specify. So if we install and make sure that's active, then in settings we'll have here. And here you can set how long it will lock someone out if they get the username and password combination wrong a certain amount of times. If you want to be emailed when it happens, blah, blah, blah. And now you have a more secure site. So in this tutorial, I've showed you how to get your domain and hosting set up, how to install WordPress on your server, turn it into your personal website, set a static page as your homepage, and then apply some themes and plugins. This is not all. You're definitely going to want to get all your content in there and customize your site, make it look the way you want. So once again, buildapersonalwebsite.com will redirect you to my tutorial where I go over all of that in much more detail. Check it out. And if you do have any questions, be sure to hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Tom Frankly on Twitter, or you can simply use the contact form on College Info Geek. Just ask me a question. I'm always there to help. And I would love to see your finished personal website when you're done. So show it to me. And other than that, have an awesome day.